Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Chelsea, I am 24 years old and I live in Darwin, Australia. And today we are doing another Fashion Friday video. So I'm going to be talking about the summer trends that I've noticed for 2023. Um, a quick disclaimer, yes I do live in Australia and we are in winter now, but the part of Australia where I live is really close to the equator. I'm up the top of Australia here and we do not get winter. It is not cold, it is like 30 degrees most days and yeah. We basically live in eternal summer, which is great because I love summer fashion. I do enjoy winter fashion and autumn fashion a lot too, so it's a little bit sad sometimes, but I travel so it's fine. I wanted to jump into a few of the trends that I've noticed that are coming up from this season. There's a couple of like aesthetics and general themes that I'm seeing as well as some specific like items I suppose you could say that are also trending. So I have it all here on my phone. I've done a bit of research on like videos and news articles, what's been on the runways for the new season, things like that. So this is my first ever video like this so I do hope you enjoy it. If you do make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you'd like to see me do this video every season. It's something that I'm thinking about doing but I'm not sure if you guys want to see it yet so please do let me know. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get into the trends. Some of these are not going to be surprising. Others are going to be were a surprise to me. Or not a surprise, but I was like, hmm, I didn't even think of that. So, let's get started. The very first trend that I personally really love is the quiet luxury trend. So, this trend is all about your old money aesthetic. I think that it is neutral colours, it is beautiful bags, it is clean lines, it is classic staples and basics. I really like this. A lot of my style really revolves around this, which I really enjoy. I feel like some pieces that you could really utilise for this that have been trending in recent years that you might already have is your blazers, your loafers. Um, an outfit that I really love that I feel like really embodies this is like a little black mini skirt, a blazer, and a little bow in the hair and some loafers. I think that's super, super cute and it's really embodying that quiet luxury sort of aesthetic. I think gold hardware is a big thing for this aesthetic. So like little details on your bags, like this one back here, the clips, the buckles on shoes. I think gold is really the vibe for this specific trend. Don't eat my shoes. Moving on to the next trend is ruffles. So I feel like this could be like, like ruffles, frills as well. There's a lot of interesting trends coming out with like tops with a lot of ruffles on them or the dresses that have like a really high slit and then have ruffled like seams or edges. I think this is a really wearable one. Like definitely on the runways you're seeing some pretty elaborate versions of this but I think that this is really wearable in your everyday clothes. A cute top with these sort of decorations of the ruffles. If you can hear that I'm so sorry my dog did just steal a shoe and I don't have the energy to chase her right now so I'm just gonna let it go. So yeah the ruffles is a really big trend and frills and things like that and sort of running along that same line of like decorations on clothes. The little flower decals are really having a moment at the moment. I love like the skinny necklaces with the flower on them. I don't own any but I really want to. I'm actually going to Adelaide later this week and I'm going to do a whole shop with me video because we don't have very good shopping here in Darwin. We are lacking on a lot of different essential shops. <laughs> so if I find anything along those lines, I will probably pick it up. I'm going to do a massive haul of everything I get to. So stay tuned for that video. Um, but yeah, the flower decals are really popular at the moment. There's some that are like on tops. They, they do them in like really big ways and like really little ways too. I think it's a very 90s Y2K sort of look, but it's really coming back into trend and I am here for it. Now the next trend is crochet. Summer is all about the beach and the warmer weather so I think crochet is a perfect trend for summer. Um, we've got like your crochet bags, that Prada Milano one is like everywhere at the moment um, which I really like. Obviously that's a very expensive version. There's some other versions or similar vibes that you can definitely get but that also in tops like the little tops that tie up in a halter neck and are crocheted they're really popular at the moment um the crochet like beach cover-ups like the long dresses and the maxi skirts those are all really on trend at the moment i think crochet is also just having a moment right now the next trend i don't know if this is a trend or if i'm just following a lot of people who have this aesthetic but it's the coastal cowgirl aesthetic. I'm really loving it. I don't really have a lot of those sort of pieces but I'm really loving the way that it looks 
on people like the bikinis and the cowboy hats or the little white dresses and cowboy boots like that is so freaking cute and I love it I kind of want to pick up a few fun pieces and do a styling video for this aesthetic so if you're into that or you want to see that please let me know um, but yeah I think it's just really having a moment and again it could just be that I follow a lot of those people which is the same for my next point, which is Coconut Girl. I feel like Coconut Girl is just a whole summer aesthetic. I think it's bright colours and bikinis and really deep tanned skin and wavy beachy hair and little hair clips and really cute. It's like a very mermaid aesthetic, um, which I really enjoy as well. So I think that that's a really cute one that's also coming into trends sort of along similar lines. Next up is linen. So like lived in linen is so in at the moment. Your matching sets that you throw over a bikini or like a little linen button down shirt. This one's not linen, but like this sort of oversized shirt and a linen material, linen pants, all of those sort of things are really on trend at the moment and I think they are really cute. I really enjoy them and I have picked up a few pieces recently. I do have like a beach cover-up dress from Princess Polly that is going to be perfect for this season. I've had it for ages. I think everyone has this dress at this point but it really embodies this uh, specific trend. Next up is, again, I'm not sure if this is one where I'm following a lot of people because I didn't see anything on like runways or in media specifically but I've seen a lot of people wearing this trend and that is bandanas and bandanas in different ways as well like on the head super cute but also seeing people wear them like around their neck or as a shirt even I styled that in my last summer lookbook video and it turned out really cute so like the, your little silky bandanas or your fabric ones and I think that's really trending at the moment and it is super cute I really like the way that it looks and I think it's a nice accessory to add to your hair when it's a little bit warmer weather and it's it just looks super cute the next trend is metallics. Now, this has been going on for a few seasons now. It's not really just summer 2023, but specifically silver. So like your sparkly silver tops, sequins are really in at the moment. Like the glittery like chainmail kind of looking clothes, those are really in at the moment. Um, that silver bag, like the two knots in the side is so popular right now. Um, all of those sort of metallic looks are really, really in, but specifically silver. I think it's really cute. It's very glitzy, glamorous. I love the way that it looks for an evening look. Um, I think New Year's this year is going to just be sparkles everywhere, which I'm kind of looking forward to. It is going to be quite nice. So that is all the trends that I'm going to be talking about in today's video. I know that there's always 5 million and 1 trends. The trends that you see and follow are heavily affected by your own style and your own vibe. So if none of these trends really apply to you, totally fair. Let me know down in the comments below what trends are you really into at the moment. I'd love to hear it. Um, but that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you did and I hope you're having a great day or night wherever you are and I'll see you in a future video. Bye!